Hello everyone, I'm back to do with another video. This is going to be a um, friendly game against this player, and I'm just going to show you the stats and uh, point out the flag. And if you are at all active on Stratego.com, you'll probably be able to uh, figure out who this guy is. He's a very notorious um, trash talker, uh, and he has many, many, many accounts, but he has said that I am not allowed to say his name during this video, so I will not. Uh, but anyway, in this game here, um, I have played this player very many times, and um, obviously this setup is completely ridiculous, um, which I like to do when I play against him, um, simply because me and this unnamed player have played just so many times. Um, so I'll just kind of do ridiculous setups, um, just because after you've played someone so many times, it's just, um, there's like only so much you can do. So if you make this setup completely ridiculous, then, um, you know, it's like kind of unexpected, but you've played them so many times. Uh, I'm really against someone like this player, who I'm definitely not going to name. Losing a colonel is not so bad, um, because this player likes to take a lead and sit on it and anti-play the whole time. Um, so it doesn't really... I mean... I would think this would be the good piece, uh, rather than this one, because he brought this one out first, and even though this player, who will remain unnamed, can usually be quite aggressive, I don't think he would be that aggressive, but perhaps, okay, trading kernels is good, uh, this might have been a bluff, now I know one thing, and I'm going to say this for YouTube, and now he's going to change his, um, he's probably going to change his play style forever, but the side that he always advances on, he always brings out a kernel, um, so, that's why I had that kernel there. But he just always brings out a kernel. And oftentimes it can be his um, weak side. So. Yeah, I guess he's not so happy I guessed it. But, um, yep. But we traded kernels, so I'm good with that. Um, I got a um, couple scouts off of it. He thinks this is my weak side, so um, he can have fun. Um, coming in there with his marshal in general. Obviously, the setup is completely stupid. But that's kind of the entire point when I play against him. Yeah, something else that this player who will remain unnamed likes to do is put bombs in the front row, and he will bomb offside, which is typically a huge no-no. But he likes to put bombs in the center. Usually doesn't bomb off the center, but he'll put one bomb in the center. Actually, I'm going to scout this piece and see. He'll do it about half the time. Okay, so he didn't do it this game. Um... But that's probably because this side will be bombed off here. So let's see, probably bomb. Oh, okay, Lieutenant. Could still be bombed off though, so I wouldn't be um, super surprised if there's, you know, three bombs here. And that Lieutenant's just there for whatever. Alright, I'm go- Okay, I didn't mean to move that, I was going to move the Major instead, but we'll just go with it. Just going to do that, and probably bring this Miner up because I have nothing better to do at the moment. Another thing that this um, unnamed player likes to do is to reveal his um, thoughts about the game in the game chat, saying, my right side is the weak side. So, wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for it to be my weak side if I just came out with a um, colonel. But we'll see what he does there. Discovers a captain, he's already got a colonel over here, so either he's going to probably attack it with one of these two, which is unlikely, or hit it with a major. Um, if you were to take the captain. Otherwise, you would just trade. So I know this is a lieutenant. I'm going to probably bring this captain up and hit it and figure out any info that I can get here. Like I said, this player um, will just sit on a very tiny lead that can be a captain or lieutenant lead. And he'll be content with that and he'll just anti-play for the draw the entire time. And he's going to go ahead and waste a minor on a sergeant. Um, that's... Completely fine. Um, Alright, first I'm going to hit this, and we're going to see what we discover. And hopefully it's something decent, but if it's a major, that's fine. Okay, it is a major. So the thing is, he'll put bombs on a side, but um, it will not necessarily be his weak side. He's Because um, it will lead into his center, and he'll take pieces from the center into here. So I'm just going to leave that there for a while, because I kind of like how that setup is. It's completely locking down his side, and if he wants to do anything over here, he's going to have to retreat the Major or take a risk. 
and I don't believe he would do um, either of those things. I'm just going to put this sergeant down here, because I have nothing better to do. And he is going to hit that with a captain. Uh, if he goes any further, he is going to find a major, but that's fine with me. Um, obviously, the setup being so stupid, um, the general is kind of restricted, but he's probably going to bring down scouts or something. Um, you know, I'm just going to hit that and see what that is. Major, okay. So I'm going to bring this major out next and either trade or um, hopefully get a captain. Or he might hit my captain. Okay, that's even better. That is even better. That's quite good. I wonder if he'll still think this is my weak side after I um, reveal my second colonel on that side. That's interesting. And, okay. Um, I'm going to move back with the colonel. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a major here, but it could also be a colonel, so I'm not going to risk that. Um... Let's see, he's up two captains. Okay, yeah, sacrificed one here, and then I he um, took another one here. So this is the captain here. And I'm also up some smaller pieces, so I do have the largest piece in this game. And he's going to trade captains, okay, that's good. Um, less revealed info is good, and he wasted a sergeant to discover that anyway, just to trade it off. Alright, this is probably, no, that's a lieutenant, right? Yeah, unless he moved it. So I'm going to come up with a lieutenant, and this could be a good piece here. But either way, I'm going to come up with lieutenant and see what we can do over here. And this is the captain, so... Let's see. Alright, I'll take that sergeant. Um, and like I said, I scouted that, unless he moved it. This was the lieutenant last time I... Okay, this is probably going to kill the lieutenant now. Either that or it's a scout. But usually he has at least one pretty decent piece. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a uh, general or something like that. Because he'll like to sit his general in the center. Um, so we got mm, lieutenant. Yeah, lieutenant. Some piece here. Which could be good or it could be really not good. Alright, I'm going to move that miner out as more or less a bluff uh, backup piece. And he's going to come down with this captain here. I'm going to advance with this major. Uh, I want to have a path to my marshal and spy being available, um, just in case. Which I probably won't need it until the end game. When I'm most successful against this um, unnamed player, I am um, I cause him to get reads on my pieces that are inaccurate because I have them in ridiculously stupid positions like this one here. Um, it's probably leading this way for a good piece here. Okay, we already discovered a colonel here. So, I'm just going to move that there. Uh, if he takes it, that's not the end of the world. Okay, minor. Um, now, this piece was the one that I was saying could be the general. So, I'm not going to move in the center. And I don't think he would let me move in the center either. I'm content to just let him waste a minor on that piece. Because I suspect this could be the general. I'm not going to waste my last scout on it. Or excavate all these pieces to have access to the scout. Uh, but if this wasn't the general, then I would pretty much get a free captain, and he's a little smarter than that. So we are going to retreat with this piece here. But this is the lieutenant, and possibly some decent piece. This might be like a colonel, or it could be a major that wants to trade, I'm not really sure. Um, right now it looks like he's coming in the center with it though. Okay, so here is the possibly decent piece, or it could be just be a scout. Um, I don't want him to double threaten these two, so I'm going to move that major away. Alright, I'm going to attack that. Colonel, okay, so I was pretty close with my guess. I was thinking it might be the general, so it is even better that I didn't move that major there. Um, this is the captain here. So I would maybe want to trade this off if he'll let me, just because I kind of want to. And he's acting like this is a good piece here. And this here is the lieutenant. I forget what this piece is. No, it's the piece that came around here and then went up. Okay, so I'm going to move that up and we're going to trade captains. So I like this two minor lead I have. I also have a sergeant. Uh, and a major. Um, we're pretty even on info, because I know colonel, lieutenant, 
Yeah, Colonel Lieutenant. And this is the Major here. He doesn't know that. Okay. Um. Hmm. He's trying to escape that Major. So this leads me to think this is a good piece here. So I'm going to trade that. Just because I don't want him moving the Major back and potentially causing some trouble down here with these unmoved pieces of mine. And he's going to take that. It's the Marshal. He is going to waste the Marshal information. I thought that would be a good piece. Um, I'm going to be forced to basically move that down. Um, he's probably not going to be too happy about that. <laughs> um, okay, so if I move in with this Miner, I would ideally like to find General here. There we go. Alright, so he just gave up a bunch of information for pretty much nothing. Um, so we know General, now Marshal, and we also know the Colonel. Hmm, it's right here. Yeah, okay, Colonel's here. So Colonel, Marshal, General, and we also know the Lieutenant here. <laughs> he knows he's about in trouble here. So, hmm... Marshal General, and like I said, this weak side was not at all a weak side, because he had this here. So that is the Colonel. So, up a Major, up smaller pieces, well now just a Sergeant, but I think I'm willing to sacrifice my two minor lead uh, for all that information. So General, Marshal, Lieutenant, and Colonel. Uh, now he's going to come around with that um, marshal. I wonder if I bluff this major or something good, what he would think. I'll just kind of put it there. Okay, so he's going to show a scout. I'm going to shuffle that around. Uh, basically not pr try to pretend it's something really good, not let him discover it. Okay, um, okay I'm going to retreat back here. He's probably going to threaten it with his marshal. No? Okay. Um, I'm just going to shuffle it back and forth. and Okay, I'm just going to take it at that point because I can't risk him scouting the spy. Uh, but my goal here is try to make him think this is a good piece. So, yeah. Hmm, okay. So now he's going to come down with that um, kernel of his. I'm going to leave that there and just see what he does. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to move this up. It's a pretty interesting situation because he has the info advantage. Now he's going to apply pressure. This is going to be a scout. Okay, he already knows this, Colonel. <laughs> Why would you waste that? You already knew that. Well... He's got one scout left, he knows neither the general nor the marshal. I will trade colonels with you, thank you very much. I'm so happy to do that, that was an awful move by him. Only to save these move pieces here. Because now he can't trap my major with anything. I'm gonna put that there just to, um... This is probably a major he's trying to get out here, or actually it might be the other scout, I'm not really sure. Alright, um, now I'm going to pressure with this Major in the center. He's in a pretty not-so-good situation here. Um, simply because... I have all this information, he has absolutely nothing. And he wasted his last scout on a worthless piece that he already knew. So, he is um, not doing so good on the memory this um, time. Must be my shuffling. Um, so, we got Marshall here. I'm just going to keep this major on this diagonal here, and he's not going to take both of these over here. Alright, I will take that. That's the major, that's what I figured. So, we are going to trade that now. Now, I'm up a major. He said that one. I believe he knew both of them, but... He has no more scouts. I'll go ahead and tell him that and just see what he says. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
he is announcing that he's going to anti-play. That is such a surprise. I never saw that one coming. Um, spoiler alert, that's some sarcasm. He always anti-plays. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I have no choice. That is true, you played um, poorly enough that you do have no choice. But we have General here. I'm going to bring out this scout, um, last scout here, but this is a bomb. Probably a sergeant. Uh, or something like that. But we know just one bomb, which is pretty good for him, actually. Um, Alright, so we got the general here. He's trying to get this um, guy out here. I'm going to come up with this lieutenant, and it's probably not going to go anywhere. Alright, I need to... The thing I don't want him to do is get aggressive with his captains here. But we got the general here, and this is acting like the spy, I believe. But uh, he's going to probably just shuffle, uh, as promised. So, I'm going to get aggressive with my spy and see what happens. Move that back. I always move it back because then he might pursue it. Okay, well, he knows I have a scout left. I'm not sure where his spy... I know that's the gen. I believe. I don't know, my memory's being awful. Um, I don't know. If I come in with the real gen, maybe we can trade or something like that. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the general here. Alright, um... He probably won't believe that, actually. That is a pretty good play by him. Um... I think I messed up the move count on that. I might have to lotto here now that he has a pretty big advantage. Alright, I want to see what this piece here is. Alright, it's going to be one that he's just going to... Um, reveal like that. Um... We're probably just going to have the three square shuffle here, yeah, okay. I don't believe that one's moved, but... Hmm, it's got a little bit more difficult now that he did that. He will take some good rest from time to time. I'm going to scout this. Spy, okay, that's good. <laughs> I don't know why he would just set that there. But, I get some additional info. Oh, right, he clicked too fast. Yeah, okay. Um, we get some additional info here. Captain, that's, that's good info, for sure. Um, I'm going to pretend like this is a bluff marshal, I think. He's probably going to want to trade generals now, so I'm going to try to let him not do that. Um, I don't remember if he knew that general or not. For some reason, I feel like he did. Okay, well, we got a sergeant. So... I'm going to try to be, like, overly obvious with this marshal, and maybe he'll think it's a bluff. But at the same time, I don't want him to, um, I'm going to move next to that, see what he does. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and trade. Fine, fine. Um, 
See, I'd like to trap this piece. That's a captain here. I'm going to try to get him to believe that's my spy. Okay, so we got Marshal and General here. I'm just going to advance on this, and uh, maybe I'll get a lieutenant or something off of it. That'd be nice. Oh, uh, just a minor. Okay. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and move that up, and we're going to trade generals now. Okay. Um, I know the... This is really difficult now. I don't think I'm going to win this one, just because he took that major. He's got... Two captains, he knows this one. Okay. I know that one, I mean. I wonder if I just anti play what he's going to do because that's his favorite thing to do. Just um, pulling from his hand. We'll see what he does here. Yeah. I'm going to use another one of his lines. I kind of have to now. But I want to see what he does with his two captains. If he uh, can really do anything with them here. Hmm. That's going to uh, probably be a lieutenant. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. He's probably going to come up and check one of these pieces with uh, a minor. Which should be fine with me. Um, kind of need all the pieces I can get. Could be a lieutenant, though. Which I would also be fine with, uh, because trading is good for me. If we trade everything down and simplify it, then it's sergeants against captains. But I don't know if he will let me do that. This might be a minor here, but if we trade minors, I'm fine with that. It's a lieutenant or a minor. He's revealing a setup, though, which is good that he's having to do that. Um, giving me less and less flag possibilities, because that was one sh short time ago. I'm not really wanting to hit that with the lieutenant, because... I just don't know. I would think that would be a captain, and so would that one. Well, I know this one's a captain. Okay. Well, we're going to trade here. My best bet now is to um, kind of stretch out the field if I can. Oh! Excellent. Um, that went a whole lot better than I expected. I thought that was going to be a captain. So, I guess I have a bit of a fighting chance here now. Okay, we are going to trade... I'm going to have to do all I can, pretty much, on this one. Um, I 
Okay, um, what I need to do is trade off the last lieutenant. So I need him to guess incorrectly here. Basically. Because I know pretty much two captains here. Um... Not sure what he's planning on doing, but I guess we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, two captains here. I really need him to trade off the wrong piece here. Okay. Um... Alright, so he is going to trap the lieutenant now, or try to, I'm going to need to, hmm, he's probably going to have me here on this one, hit me with a minor, at least, okay, um, he'll say fine, I'm guessing, yep, alright, so, I guess that's the best move, I don't really know. Uh, I really would need to trade lieutenants here. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let his captain come and attack the sergeant. And then, I don't know, I'm just gonna try and see what happens. The fact that I still have any sort of chance in this game is pretty sad, actually. Um... I'm just going to move down there. Okay, I'll trap that. I'm fine with that. Um, that way he has one less piece to... ...check mine with. Alright, I'm going to come up with this one now. And now this one here. Okay. Um, I need to balance this out here. This miner will not escape without me killing it. Okay, um... If he comes and traps this lieutenant, that could be, um, interesting here. Uh, I don't really know what to do here. This is pretty awful. Um, I feel like if he traps that lieutenant, that would be a very bad decision on his part. Um, I don't really know what to do. I know that I can exploit this somehow. That miner's not escaping without me killing it, that's for sure. He's going to move over, and then I'm going to move up, and he's going to have to move down. That just resets the whole thing. Alright, well I have my miners in position, that's the good news. Um... I'm just going to take that um, and reveal that that's a minor. Okay, I need to bring this up and assert this as a possible alternative here.
So what he's probably trying to do is come up and trap this here, but I'm not going to let him do that. Okay. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm going to need to keep this stationed here. And just kind of force him to take a guess. Alright, it's 3v3 now. So he has to guess correctly. And then if he does, then he will win here. So we'll see what he does. He's going to keep threatening this. Unless he guesses correctly and just lets me pass on this side, then um, it's going to be a draw. We'll see here. If I were him, I would think this over here is more likely the sergeant, um, based on the fact that it um, came from behind here. Okay, I'm going to move that in, because if he moves this up, then... Alright, um, I'm fine with that. He's going to have to guess right, or otherwise it will be a draw. Now, it was pretty good of me to um, even get in a draw situation uh, from what I had. I was up a lot of small pieces, but as you can see, him being up all of these was uh, not good. I suppose I was thinking, he might think this is the sergeant since I moved back instead of taking the bomb. But I just realized, if I reveal my, um, sar if I reveal my miner, so even if this had been a miner, if I had revealed it, then that would have been game over. So I will move up. Let me see, if I move over, he moves up, then I'll just move over and we'll just do a dance. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. But he is um, starting to compress his pieces now, so I'm liking my draw chances um, longer and longer as we go. He says he has a plan. He's probably going to... Alright. Well, uh, I'm just going to leave that there, I suppose. Um... If I move this over, then he can two-square me. Um, we can do three-square dance over here. I'm fine with that. So we'll just shuffle over here. If he moves down, I'm just going to retreat back. You do that. Okay, I will do that. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see um, how he's going to be able to trap one of these without letting either one of these to the flag. And of course, I have my bluff over here. Okay, um, so if he moves that up, then I'll move that over, and that'll basically force this to stay here, and I can pass uh, beside it. Uh, let's see, hmm, if I move over. And he'll take it, so no go on that one. Hmm. Hoping it messes this up, I don't know. I'm pretty bad at end games in general.
Okay, no, we're good. Um, I was scared that he... For some reason, I thought in my head that he was going to force me to have to move in, but I realized I can escape that by going this way. So, I'm all set here. And we resume how we formerly were, so that didn't get anywhere. I was scared for a minute there that I might have messed that up. And you might have been able to trap. Let's see what he says. I think... Um... I don't see why, because if he tries to come around here and trap this, then I go to the center. And if he moves this to the center, then I'll have to force him to choose. And choosing is what he's going to have to do to win the game anyway. Oh, he thought I forgot. He um, forgot that I had the sergeant. Yeah, this sergeant is um, definitely good for my um, chances in this game. But he is going to have to guess, or he is going to take the draw here. So, I'm not sure which one he's going to choose to do, but this has been a really interesting game. Most of our games together are very um, close games. So, alright. He's going to take his chances with my fake miner over here. Uh, we'll just do the uh, three square shuffle. Now I'm fine with moving that in now, and I'll move this in, so I'm getting some more pressure on him now. Let's see, if I move this in, then he takes it, then I'll move here, move here, move here. I'll beat both of his pieces, because he'll take it, I'll move here, or no, I'll move here, he'll take it. I'll move here, and then whichever piece he chooses to move next would have to move here. Then I would move here, he would only be here. So, uh, that's fine for me. It'd be better for me if he didn't know either minor, but... I kind of need to get that bomb out of the way because otherwise I wouldn't be able to... I'd have to reveal it anyway by shuffling back here like I have uh, had to do before. So we got the two captains and the lieutenant. I forget which one's which, but it doesn't really matter at this point in the game. I can't do that. That is a Sarge. Which is a Sarge? Because he's talking about one of these two. And that means that he has guessed wrong. Diagonal for my captain. That doesn't help. I for Oh, he thinks it's the center. I will tell him, yes, it is, just to um, be that type of person. So, alright, so... Hmm. He's threatened me here. He's guessed wrong on this one. But I don't know if I'll be able to exploit it. So if I move over, then he'll move in between the two. And then I'll have to move over with this one. Or wait, no, if I move over and he moves in between the two, then that's game, because I go through the flag. So if I move over, then... Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that move, because then he can't move this anywhere except back. And I already know this is the minor here. He says there has to be a way. It's good if he believes this is my minor here. A draw unless he wants to guess here, so um yep, yeah, gonna move that away. Not yet, let me try. Okay, well you can go ahead and try with your um incorrect guess, that's fine. So if I move this down and he moves in between the two, then I move down, then that's the same situation that we had as before. Because then I'll move here if he moves in between the two, he'll take it, I'll move here. The next piece has to move here, I'll go here, he'll be uh, too slow to stop it. So I'm still fine with that, and that move there is um, solid, so it's going to be the same uh, shuffle thing here going on. Alright, so if I move toward the center, then he has to move down. And then I would move up here, so I'm fine with that.
Yeah, it's just our same um, dance and everything. Repeating the same moves. I'm going to try to force him to agree to tie, which he hates ties. Or, um, agree to my draw here. Or, um, or risk this, which he thinks incorrectly of. He has a new plan. Okay. I like new plans. That gives me, um, lots of opportunity. Okay. Um... I'm fine with moving this toward the center, and he's already done this before. This is not a new plan. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm just going to keep that guy in the center, and I get shuffle with this uh, sergeant. And we've already done this before. I'm going to tell him that. Okay. Well, he can't really move this. Yeah, that was very scary to misclick. He can't really move this without letting this known miner to the flag. So, um... I'm gonna force me now. Okay, well, um... I really wish this bomb wasn't here, that would be so much easier. But, um, okay. It's really just the same thing as before. Unless he's gonna come trap this here. Okay, now I need to move this one out of the way uh, to be safe here. Yeah, we've done all this moves before here. Hmm, same thing. Okay, well, we're going to be threatening again here. He's going to have to guess. I don't believe he can win this without a guess here. Just going to shuffle in between these three spaces. Because he can't move this more than once um, to kill it. And he believes, I believe he thinks this is the minor. See, as long as I shuffle between these three pieces, then I'm good here. And he's going to do that, which just makes me go this way. And we have done all of this before. And then I just shuffle the sergeant. Hmm... Now, if he wants to trap this here and he doesn't believe this is the minor, then um, that would be game if I can win here. We'll see. It's a really intense game, though. He's still thinking here, so he's eating into his book. Oh, he's um, doing his thoughts here. If I want to win, I need to make the gamble. It has to be your sergeant. Your minor is on the right, your last one. He thinks that's the minor. So if he thinks so, then uh, that could lead to victory for me. But we still got the exact same situation here. Alright, so if I move this over... I move this over, then he moves that over. I'm still fine with this situation here.
Hmm. Might have messed this up, I don't remember. Um. Hmm, I don't think I should have moved that in, I think I messed this up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you won this because I messed this up here. Yep, pretty sure he won this. I don't think there's any way I can here. Um, yep, I think he got me this one. Um, don't believe there's any move that I can do here. I shouldn't have um, moved this sergeant in here, because I was counting on the fact that he would move this piece up here to trap the sergeant and keep that there. When he did that, uh, I didn't account for that, and that's what made me lose here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there is anything that I can do now. Hmm. I don't think there's a single thing that I can do here. Um, if I attack this, then he takes it. If I attack this, then he takes it. Without really any chance of um, getting the flag. If I take that, he takes that. I messed up by moving that sergeant in. I didn't think that was a good idea, but I just did that in a haste. Hmm. I guess I'll just take that. Okay. Well, he got me this game, so that was good. I made the fatal flaw by um, moving that sergeant in, but oh well. But he's got this game uh, easily won now, so... Alright, GG. Um, we played our wits to a draw, but uh, he got the win after that move there, but he was able to trap it. I wish this bomb was in here. That bomb is so annoying. But um, definitely a very good game um, against this unknown uh, player who I will not name. Uh, that really was a really intense game. Um, like I said, we played to a draw, but this move here messed me up. Um, but overall, that was a really close and a really enjoyable game, so um, GG.